During Cat Williams' interview, he said Martin Lawrence wanted him to play a role in the movie Big Mamas. And he turned it down because they wanted him to wear a tire that pertains to a woman. Why do we need to be in a dress? And I get so mad, I say, you don't want me. You want Brandon T. Jackson. And that's who they went and got. Notice Cat Williams said after he turned down the role, they went and got Brandon Jackson. This is Brandon Jackson. Now it gets very interesting because around four years ago, during an interview, Brandon Jackson was asked a question pertaining to wearing a dress in the movie Big Mamas. And guess who name he mentioned? Cat Williams. And he went on to say that Cat Williams was the only person who told him not to play the role in the movie Big Mamas. But he did it in a way and something happened to him. Watch this. I did it, for, I did it purely for the money and the work of Martin Lawrence. And knowing you now, and I'm going to kind of uh, set this question up, uh, you mentioned the dress. It's a big conversation yeah. about that. Did you get like slack when you wore the dress at that moment? It was like, wasn't slack from people. Only Cat Williams. Cat Williams was trying to always say, Brandon, Brandon don't wear a dress. <laughs> you know, he called you or is this? No, he was saying it in the media. So I thought he was heckling me. He was really trying to help me at the time. I didn't know that. I was immature. Right. I feel like, dang, why? I'm trying to, uh, just trying to make it. Why are you bashing me? And then he was trying to warn me, you know, don't get in the dress. I believe it was a curse that went with that personally because nothing went right since then. That's truthful. No one can tell me, hey, man, you think it's too much, man. You see that, man? Can't... Everything went wrong. It's like everything went right. Everything went wrong when I put on that dress. You all still think this is a coincidence. After Cat Williams exposed them and Brandon Jackson said a curse came upon him after he played this role. And I'm not condoning everything Cat Williams does, but I have to give him credit for telling the truth in regards to the industry. And something else stood out to me. Cat Williams said, he asked them, why do you want me as a man to play a role that pertains to a woman? When there's gifted and talented women who can play the role. Do you all realize the reason they portray Tyler Perry as anointed man of God. And before I say what I'm about to say, remember Satan was called anointed in heaven. And when he was cast down from heaven, he lost his anointing. And right now he portrays his servants as being anointed because he used to be anointed and he still want that place. So don't get caught up when people say they are anointed. She can sing good, so she's anointed. He can act good, so he's anointed. Listen to me. The enemy is going around portraying his servants as being anointed because he lost it in heaven. So he walks around in the earth deceiving people like he's still anointed and his servants are anointed as well. This is one reason why the Bible says the enemy can disguise himself as an angel of light. And his ministers can transform themselves as ministers of righteousness. Everybody anointed now. They could push whatever agenda that go against the Lord. But they still portray themselves as anointed. And this is how they enter the church unaware. Just take a look at this. Tyler Perry was given a free pass to preach to the congregation and inspire them to become prosperous just like he is. I'm not against anyone being successful, but I pay attention to what that person did to become successful. Because if you have to do this, I don't want any part of it. And listen to me, I don't care what time we're living in, the Lord will never change his word to fit the culture. See, sometimes it takes somebody from their circle to speak out to confirm that what we have been saying the whole time is true. God trying to wake people up in the spirit because what y'all been calling anointed has not been anointed. It's been enemies disguising themselves as angels and ministers of righteousness. Therefore, leaders opened the door to people like Tyler Perry and gave them the same influence in the church that he has in the world. Do you realize when you give people like Tyler Perry influence, you know what you're doing? You turning the people over to what he's pushing. If the bishops say it's okay, God bless Tyler Perry to become a millionaire by doing this. You know what that preacher is doing? 
He's laying a stumbling block before the congregation. Now, instead of the people seeking God, they chasing how they could become rich like Tyler Perry. And they willing to do anything to gain fame. And they don't see anything wrong with this because the preacher didn't tell them the will of God. Some of you may not like it, but I'm going to tell you the truth. See, it was wrong for Tyler Perry to go to the Potter house and lay hands on T.D. Jakes. I can only imagine how many baby believers who really mean well. This caused them to stumble because guess what? If the bishop approves somebody who pushed the agenda, you know what they're going to think. It must be okay to do it. And notice the leaders who allow Tyler Perry to speak in their pulpits. They never preach against this. Wonder why? Let me tell you why. It's simply because they have a connection with these people. Did not you know Tyler Perry gave Bishop T.D. Jakes $1 million? I thought the Holy Ghost is what run the church, not money. But unfortunately, we live in the day where leaders are adopting the things of the world to pack up their churches. Instead of giving the people the truth, they are turning them over to the idols of the world. And this is not new. We're just living in the times now where everything covered, the Almighty is uncovering it. Watch and pray. God bless you.